Good evening, Tiff, and you're watching tonight's edition of News 10 Live. Tonight, you will hear about how the Seneca County budget may be decreased. As well as how an Indianapolis teenager is coping with a three-story fall. I'm Robbie Gabbert, and I'll be bringing you your weather for this evening. I'm John Butchergoss, a big weekend in How to Work Sports. I'll have it all for you coming up. Stay tuned. News 10 Live starts now. Yes. Let's take it over to John Butchergoss on the sports screen. Thank you, John. Thank you. Hello, Tiffin. I am John Butchergrass. Coming up in sports, we got your homecoming weekend activities all covered. But before we do this, we want the tonight trivia question that you can think about while you watch this exciting PSA. How many former Cleveland Indians took part in this year's baseball playoffs, either now or for the Red Sox or other teams who were eliminated as they tell me? Oh, there we go. Okay, here it is. How many former Indians players are currently playing in this year's playoffs? That includes players who have already been eliminated, like Victor Martinez. There's one hint. The answer and all your sports right after this. And welcome back. There's our trivia question. How many former Indians players are currently playing in this year's baseball playoffs? I was surprised by this number. Of course, you got Jim Tomey, Victor Martinez, uh, Cliff Lee. We talked about him. The answer is 17. How about that? Ben Francisco. Francisco. That's fun to say. All right, let's talk about the baseball playoffs. American League Championship Series, the Angels and the Yankees. The winner of that series takes on the Phillies in the World Series. Uh, the Yankees had a chance to eliminate the Angels last night in Anaheim. However, the Angels rough up A.J. Burnett early, lost the lead, got it back later, and went on to win Game 5. So back to New York they go for Game 6 uh, tomorrow night. The Yankees win, they go on to the World Series. Angels win, they force a Game 7. Either way, the World Series begins next Wednesday. Philadelphia uh, against the winner of the Angels and the Yankees. The American League has the home field because, as you know, the American League won the All-Star game, and that's how they determine home field in the World Series. All right, on to NCAA football. Terrible loss by the Buckeyes last weekend against Purdue. They'll hope to make up for that this weekend. They take on the Minnesota Golden Gophers. How about Heidelberg? It's a big Heidelberg homecoming weekend. Very excited to be a part of that. Uh, we, plenty of athletics uh, to support, so please come out. Go to the games. They're fun. It's a good bargain for the whole family. Uh, the volleyball play, team playing, in fact, I think they're playing right now. Uh, they have two matches, I believe, at 5 and 7. They're taking on uh, Wittenberg. Uh, the women's soccer team, or football, as they say in Europe, uh, they're hosting Muskingum College. What's the Muskingum's nickname? Are they the Muskie still? Okay, uh, they take them at 2 o'clock Eastern time. The Berg football team, the big homecoming weekend Berg football game, uh, Baldwin-Wallace, 1.30 p.m. Radio coverage will be on WHEI radio. Is that correct? Excellent. So tune in for that as well. In fact, bring your radio to the game so you can listen to the play-by-play -play of the radio while you watch the football game. It enhances your viewing pleasure. Uh, and that's really all the time we have for now. Uh, I'm John Butchergoss. It's been a pleasure giving you uh, today's sports. And who knows, I may be back next week. I like this job better. I'm John Weber. And for Kyle Adam, John Butchagross, Robbie Gabbert, and the rest of the News 10 team, I'm Kristen Saul saying good night, Tiffin, good night, Heidelberg, good night, America.